So we're all familiar with the Despicable Me movies, yeah? Yeah? If you're not, then, then get out of here, you philistine. What not many people know is the absolute size of Gru. Like, this lad, this lad is enormous. Also, hi, Pimple, it's grown since last time. How you doing? So, Felonius Gru. Uh... Felonius. Yeah, that's his first name. I didn't I didn't know either. He was named after the word felony. Like his parents were just setting him up. Anyway, he's a pretty tall dude. How tall you might be asking? Pretty tall. Okay, you have to repeat myself again. So the average height of a minion, the official average height is 3.5 feet. Now at boy Gru. At boy Gru stands at four minions tall, making him 14 feet. Um I'm sorry, what? Just for reference, okay, here's the average man and woman. And here's Gru, okay? He's a big boy. Uh, here's Shaquille O'Neal, and here's Gru. Here's the world's tallest man to have ever lived, and here's Gru. So upon discovering this, I thought, you know, let's take this a bit further, okay? How about his signature weapon, the freeze ray? <laughs> How big's that? Let's see where we can take this cartoon logic. Uh, so, using his height of 14 feet, I determined that the gun's height is, um, is, is, is roughly the size of an average man. It's fairly large. I'm, I'm not sure what the point of this video is, but it's a big, it's a big gun. But you may be asking, okay? You may be asking. I know you are asking. How about his most noticeable feature? His nose. How big's that? And now I couldn't find, or I couldn't be bothered to find, a full image of him with his nose in enough detail. So, I used this shot, and I found that it takes roughly 2.1 of his nose to make up for his head. Let's just make it two for convenience's sake. Going by this, we can find that it takes seven and a half of his head to make up his full height. Uh, so that's around 15 nose lengths to add up to his height. And so we can just divide that to find that his nose is about 0 0.93 feet, or 11.2 inches. So for reference, here's his nose next to the world record holder for longest nose, and here's it next to a foot long sub. It's a formidable weapon. From someone with a king sized schnoz to another, I can I can give him respect, okay? You know, he's world record holder, Gru, well done. And now a giant, a goliath like Gru, needs a big house to live in. Let's see how big. The Gru's height of 14 feet is, uh, let's give him one foot of wiggle room between his head and the door. So, using that I can measure up against the house and I can see that his house is 125 feet tall. That's around 12 average stories. So here's a random picture of a 12 story building I found on Google Images. And here's his house, it's the same height, like it's, it's unbelievable. It's <laughs> His car, that's also an important piece of the puzzle, isn't it? His car. How big is that? Using the same reasoning as his house, let's give the door 15 feet, okay? We can use that to find out the dimensions of the car, which is 2.65 doors high and 5 doors long, or 39.75 feet tall and 75 feet long. Putting this into perspective, the tallest legal height for a truck is 4.3 meters, unless it's holding cattle or other vehicles, in which case it's 4.6. Meaning that his car, at 12.1 meters high, might be breaking the law, I'll be honest. And the average length of a transit bus is about 40 feet, making his car about about twice that length. Yeah, what do you do with this information? I don't know, but now you have it. And now for the question on all of our minds, his rocket, how about that? In the first movie, there's no direct side-by-side -side of Gru standing next to the rocket, but there is this shot in which Gru takes around, around, like roughly, it's very rough. It takes around two and a half Gru's to make up the height of this pod. Given his 14 foot height, we know that the pod is around 35 feet. And measuring that up, we can see that the rocket is around 18 and a half pods high, making it around 647.5 feet. That's about 197 and a half meters. And now to put this into perspective, the tallest rocket ever made was by NASA. It was the Apollo, wait no, it was the Saturn V, I suck. Conveniently for us, was also a lunar mission, which was a massive 111 meters high. But to scale, um, Gru's one is, is a little bit taller and also a bit girthier. Um, hmm, poor oh, Gru. Yikes, I'm, I'm the guy who made a, a Gru dick joke. Um, yeah, that's my legacy. And now for those of you who don't remember the events of the movie, I don't know how you don't. Disgusting. Gru tries to get the project to steal the moon, funded by the Bank of Evil, but they reject him. So, to fund the project, he just sells things lying around his lair. And I'm here to ask the question, the much needed, very important question, 
How much did he have to raise to fund that rocket? Well, the entire project cost of Saturn V was about 6.5 billion, but the actual craft itself was about 165 million of their dollars. So, adjusting for inflation, that's around 1.2 billion dollars just, just lying around in Gru's lair. Um, he's, he's a wealthy man. Given how quickly and easily and how little cost it has on Gru's personal life, He's most likely a multi-billionaire as well, as a complete and utter unit, so, you know, we know that now. We know that. Very, very crucial for life information. Uh, so now we know that Gru is extremely rich and an utter unit, but what's the use of such size, such massive scale, if you can't use it, yeah? It's what you do with it, right? And now, in this unforgettable scene that will invariably go down in cinema history, uh, Vector sends an array of missiles towards Gru. Where Gru, <laughs> where Gru easily just just weaves between them like like it's nothing at all. Let's see how fast he was going. He just runs through them like this man is unstoppable. This, this man is unbelievable. God, I wish I was him. Why can't that be me? Can I go through surgery to be to be Gru? Is that is that a thing? Is science there yet? And now the first thing we want to find out is what type of missiles are these and how fast are they going? So we want to determine if these are subsonic or supersonic uh, missiles. And this can be fairly easily determined by seeing if the rockets break the sound barrier or not. If they go faster than the speed of sound, um, which we, we don't see a sonic boom, so easy. And so from that, let's just say that they're about the standard subsonic missile, which is about 0.7 mark. Mac, Mac, Mark. I'm well educated. Anyway, that's around 232 meters per second, so still not slow. And now when he's dodging the missiles, the movie goes into slow-mo, so we can follow what what this man is doing. A legend at work. And now for this for this game theory, <laughs> because we know the the speed of the missiles and Gru's height, we we can see we can see what's going on. I, I put way too much effort into this video. Because the footage is 30 frames per second, I went and took a 30 frame slice out of the footage to see how far each of them traveled. And so I took a frame at the beginning of the 30 frames and end of the 30 frames. I put one over the other, adjusted for camera movement. And so using Gru's 14 foot height, I determined how far each of them went. I have a life, I swear, I just... This is important research, okay? Now because we know the total number of meters per second that the missile travels, we can just divide that by the number of meters it travels here to see how slow the slow-mo is. And by my calculations, it's about 1 44th of regular speed. And so we can just multiply the distance Gru travels in this slow down second, which is 19.18 feet by 44, and find out that felonious Gru, the man, the myth, the absolute unit, the legend, really, is capable of moving at speeds at or upwards of 257 meters per second. That's pretty quick. Like, that's that's not slow, is it? Felonius screws many things. He's a criminal. He has no regard for human life. He launches the biggest rocket known to man in a suburban area, ruining people's homes, breaking their wind. He doesn't care. He's a terrible man, but he's not a slow man or a weak man. In fact, if we speed it up to its normal speed, so multiply the speed by 44, the, the encounter with the rockets in real time goes like this. Uh, so in conclusion, God, I wish that was me. And there's plenty more logic that can be twisted against this movie, like the fact that this girl is around seven foot, um, Shaquille O'Neal next to this girl, it's, yep, it's... It's a spectacle. There's the massive underground lair underneath his house, which is so much bigger than his house, which is already a massive house, like, oh. There's also the fact that the minions are just actual slaves. Like, they are just slave labor for him. And there's also the fact that I bothered to make this video. Why did I do that? I hope you've enjoyed, I guess. Can can this be enjoyed? Uh, this video was inspired by a copy pasta, which is kind of inaccurate. Uh, the, the rocket, they didn't get the right rockets. It's not that fast. Uh, so I thought I'd fix it and add upon it, improve it, so you've got this video. But I just love the idea of like taking a TV show or cartoon, taking its logic and turning it on itself. I love it too much. It's it's kind of unhealthy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, which is just too too much. I shouldn't have really. If you want more like this for some for some weird reason, then 
then comment about it, I guess. But yeah, my conclusion is Gru is bigger than you, okay? There's no way you're bigger than him. He's faster than you. He's smarter than you, and Dr. Nefario is definitely smarter than you. And he's richer than you, unless, like, Jeff Bezos is watching this, in which case, hi. Um, do you want my PayPal? Anyway, um, I think that about does it for this weird-ass, weird-ass concoction of a video. I, I, I don't know what it is. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Um, and as always, thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are legends, like, in the flesh. If you would go donate over there, it'd be great. But if you don't want to or can't, then a like or subscription is appreciated. What else is there? Social media, Instagram, Twitter is down below as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and are okay with me experimenting with a lot of weird stuff because I, I like doing this a lot and it was funny, so yeah. But I'll be back with more normal uploads very soon, like tomorrow or the next day at max, so look forward to that. But anyway, rambling is over. I think that's enough of it. Um, I think... <laughs>